Welcome to Starbase Pink. This is your daily space and SpaceX news. A few hours ago, SpaceX launched Falcon 9 rocket carrying 46 Starlink satellites. This is liftoff. Liftoff of the Falcon 9. State separation, second stage engine ignition, and we have fairing separation. We have Falcon 9 first stage landing on, of course, I still love you drone ship for the second time. It was the 10th successful landing for booster 1061. And we have the confirmation from SpaceX of the deployment of 46 Starlink satellites. Yesterday, two SpaceX self-propelled modular transporters moved from the build site to the orbital launch site. And last night and early this morning at the build site, SpaceX team moved 11 sea level Raptors version 2 inside the Mega Bay. 8.54 pm, Raptor engine serial number 83 spotted and moved next to the Mega Bay. 11.10 pm, the second Raptor engine moved. 11.15 pm, the third Raptor moved. This is serial number 26. 1.22 am, the fourth Raptor moved. 2.07 am, the fifth Raptor moved. 2.25 am, the sixth Raptor moved. 3.32 am, the seventh Raptor moved. 3.58 am, the eighth Raptor moved to inside the Mega Bay. 4.18 am, the ninth Raptor moved to. 4.55 am, the tenth Raptor moved. And 5.03 am, the eleventh Raptor moved. But why they moved those gimbaling engines? This is preparations to bring Booster 7 inside the Mega Bay. That's why today SpaceX team removed Super Heavy Booster 7 from the orbital launch mount and installed it on the transport stand. We don't have any closure, but they moved Booster 7 to the build site. All thanks to La Padre for the live footage from the build site and the launch site. So, what's the plan now for Super Heavy Booster 7? The plan is to install 13 gimbaling Raptor engine in the center of the booster and move it back to the orbital launch site, install it on the launch mount before Tuesday. This picture captured at the orbital launch site shared by Elon yesterday. He said this will be Mars one day. And SpaceX has informed the US Coast Guard of scheduled testing at Starbase orbital launch site between August 15th and August 18th from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. And we have possible closure too for Monday and Tuesday, same time. At Tiangong Space Station, inside the new Wintia module, we have this video of the Taikonauts daily training. That's it for today. This is the end of this episode. See you tomorrow.